Gentrification is not economic development. Gentrification is the pushing out of the residents who already live here and replacing them with richer, often whiter residents. And that uh, you don't need to have gentrification to have community uh, economic development. So one of the things is the alderman has a great deal of control over uh, zoning changes. And I want to be an alderman that takes advice and takes direction from the people that I serve and then make things happen in city council and report back directly to my community. And the way I want to do that is with a 33rd Ward elected advisory council. So there used to be a 33rd Ward advisory council, but when Deb Bell took over, she closed it down. Okay. So in my opinion, any kind of development projects, any kind of zoning changes that are going to affect a large amount of people should go through and be discussed by an elected group of residents that are on the advisory council. Everything should be done above board, you know, on the table, in public. Okay? Another thing is, of course, I'm a huge supporter of Central Autonomous Community Land Trust idea. I think that it, it's a win-win because it takes the property off the books, the banks, books, it keeps families inside their homes, it creates more affordable housing over time, and that's a good thing for our Roosevelt High School and the schools in this community, it's a good thing for our residents, uh, and it's a good thing for the banks, so I see that as a win-win all the way around. Uh, Albany Park Neighborhood Council has an idea where they're seeking uh, not-for-profit development, and they want to bundle two and three flat units, which are unattractive to developers together in order to make them more attractive and uh, get them fixed up. I think that's a pretty good idea. And then finally, there's the uh, Keep Chicago Housing, uh, or rather Keep Chicago Renting Housing Ordinance that was passed about a year ago. Um, and, and what it did was it provided um, a legal means where landlords had to provide certain notices and rent control apartments if they were going to for instance, if a building foreclosed and then a third party bought the building through an auction, then you have to either provide rent control apartments to the people that live there, or you have to provide them $10,600 in relocation expenses per unit which you occupy. Okay? And the problem is right now, I mean, it just came out in the Chicago Tribune this morning that they're not, the city is not collecting these fees. And Action Now and APNC did a survey in the spring, they found, found 14 buildings in the war that were in violation of this ordinance, and the amount of money that could have been collected but wasn't by the city was $430,000, okay? That's, I don't understand, if the, if the city says that it's so starved for cash, why is it leaving this money on the table? Why aren't they, follow, why aren't they finding the developers uh, that are forcing our families out in order to turn a profit? That's wrong, and that won't happen uh, if I'm elected alderman.